VTA Light Rail reporting mark SCCT is a light rail system serving San Jose, California, and its suburbs in Silicon Valley. It is operated by the Santa Clara Valley Transportation Authority, or VTA, and consists of 42.2 miles .9 km of network comprising two main lines and a spur line on standard gauge tracks. Originally opened in 1987, the light rail system has gradually expanded since then, and currently has 62 light rail stations in operation on the three lines. VTA operates a fleet of 99 Kinky Sherio Low Floor Light Rail Vehicles to service its passengers. The system's average weekday daily ridership as of Q3 2018 is 28,800 passengers. The greatest daily average recorded over a month was 37,536 in June 2008. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current service. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Lines. VTA operates 42.2 miles .9 km of light rail route on three lines. There are four major corridors of light rail which the lines run on. The first and most important is the Guadalupe Corridor in South San Jose along CA87 north to Tasman Station, which runs through downtown San Jose and the business areas of Central and North San Jose. It is serviced by two lines, making frequency along this corridor around 7.5 minutes. Other corridors include the Tasman East, Capital Corridor in East San Jose, the Mountain View, Tasman West Corridor in Northwest Silicon Valley, and the Winchester Corridor, which services communities in Campbell and West San Jose. Frequency along these corridors are around 15 to 30 minutes. All the lines and the corridors they run through are designed to move commuters from the suburban areas of Santa Clara Valley into the major business areas in downtown, the Santa Clara County Civic Center, and the high-tech and office areas of northern Silicon Valley. Light rail also serves to connect commuters, travelers to the San Jose International Airport, Diridan Station and the transit systems it serves, Caltrain, ACE, the Coast Starlight, the Capital Corridor, and moves LRT riders to and from Silicon Valley, the Greater Bay Area, and beyond. Eventually BART and California High Speed Rail will connect with light rail and the other rail systems served by Diridan Station. Alum Rock Santa Teresa Designated as 901, this line runs from the Alum Rock Transit Center in East San Jose near Alum Rock to Santa Teresa Station in the Santa Teresa neighborhood of San Jose, passing through Milpitas and downtown San Jose on the way. When BART inaugurates service from Fremont's Warm Springs Station to San Jose's Berryessa District, this VTA line will connect with BART's Milpitas Station at VTA's Montague Station. There are 36 stops on this line. South of downtown San Jose, the line operates in the median of State Route 87 and 85. A proposed future expansion will extend the line past Alum Rock along Capitol Avenue and Capitol Expressway to the Eastridge Transit Center, which would effectively duplicate and possibly replace the current service by the 522 bus line along this corridor. Commuter Express Introduced in October 2010 as a complementary service to the Alum Rock Santa Teresa light rail line, the weekday, peak period only Commuter Express light rail service operated between Bay Point and Santa Teresa stations. This service, with three trips each in the morning to Bay Point and in the afternoon to Santa Teresa, stopped at every station, with non stop service between Convention Center and Ohlone, Chinoath stations. This service offered free Wi-Fi on board, and fares were the same as other local light rail services. On August 2, 2018, the VTA board voted to discontinue Commuter Express service effective October 8, 2018 to reduce operating costs. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain View Winchester 
Designated as 902, this line runs from downtown Mountain View Station in Mountain View through Sunnyvale, Santa Clara, and San Jose along Tasman Drive, North 1st Street, downtown San Jose, and the Southwest Expressway on its way to its terminus at the Winchester Station in Western Campbell. It has 37 stops, 14 of which are shared with the Alum Rock Santa Teresa line. To reach San Jose Diridan Station interchange to Amtrak and commuter rail services the line tunnels under the station and rail yard. South of Diridan Station, the line travels alongside Union Pacific Railroad freight tracks en route to Winchester. <laughs> Almaden Shuttle Designated as 900, this is a three-stop spur from the Ohlone, Keoweth Station to Almaden Station at the Almaden Expressway in the Almaden Valley. The Ohlone, Chinoweth Station provides connection to the Alum Rock Santa Teresa Line, the intermediate stop serves the Westfield Oak Ridge Mall, and the Almaden Station connects to VTA bus service. The shuttle, which runs a single one-car train, takes about four minutes to travel between Ohlone, Chinoweth and Almaden. This line has one track, with sidings at Almaden and Ohlone Chinoweth. As of April 2019, VTA has planned to discontinue the line due to low ridership and in favor replace it with bus lines 64A and 83. <laughs> <laughs> Stations Unusually for light rail systems in the United States, most VTA light rail stops are made by request. Similar to VTA's bus network, passengers must be visible to the operator while waiting at stations, and must notify the operator using the bell before the train arrives at their destination. Trains will typically skip stops other than line termini if no one is waiting on the platform and no one requests to disembark. Fares As of January 2019, the fare for one single ride for adult passengers is $2.50. This fare is standard for both light rail and bus transit, and is good for two hours of travel. No transfer fees between light rail vehicles are required, but upon inquiry riders must provide a proof of payment. Passengers without a ticket could be fined up to $250, under Penal Code 640. Topic. Clipper cards Monthly passes loaded onto clipper cards are also valid on light rail. Topic. Rolling stock From 1987 when the system was launched until September 2003, the system was served by a fleet of high-floor light rail vehicles LRVs built by Urban Transportation Development Corporation and designated ALRV. The original high-floor fleet was leased to investors for a 33-year term, starting in 1998, and then subleased back to VTA. In May 2003, VTA sub subleased the UTDC LRVs to other light rail operators for an initial 13 year term. With a renewal term of nine years, VTA retains responsibility for LRV operation, maintenance, and insurance. 29 were sent to Utah Transit Authority, $5.2 million rental payments, and 21 were sent to Sacramento Regional Transit, $4.1 million rental payments. In September 2013, RT exercised its option to purchase the 21 sub-leased vehicles at $1,000 each. UTA subsequently exercised its purchase option for the 29 sub-leased vehicles in 2017. 28 of the UTA vehicles, renumbered 1042 to 1069, were sold at auction on December 26, 2017. In 2002, VTA introduced new Kinky Sherio low-floor LRVs. The Kinky Sherio LRVs are equipped with a low floor over 70% of the passenger area at 14 in 356 mm above top of rail ATOR, with the remaining high floor area 35 in 889 mm ATOR and up to three LRVs may be coupled into a single train. The low floors initially operated only on the Tasman West Line downtown Mountain View to I-880, Milpitas because their floor height only matched the 14-inch platform height along that line. 
After VTA reconstructed platforms along North 1st Street from the Japan Town, air stop northward with wooden ramps provided for the lead car's front door elsewhere, VTA replaced the entire fleet in 2003 with low-floor LRVs. Currently, all stations provide level boarding at all doors. Notes Topic: Historic fleet VTA also maintains a small historical fleet of streetcars, which are free to ride in History Park at Kelly Park. Topic: <laughs> Major accidents and incidents. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Virginia Station derailment. On March 21, 2008, at approximately 7.10 p.m., a southbound two-car light rail train derailed just north of the Virginia station. Four people, including the train operator, were injured, and the train was heavily damaged. At the time of the accident, trains were operating on a single track through the area because of construction at three nearby light rail stations. The train involved was attempting to switch between tracks when it derailed. VTA ruled out mechanical or equipment failure as a cause for the accident. An investigation indicated human error. The train traveling southbound stopped over the switch and reversed, which are violations of operating rules. <laughs> Lincoln Avenue collision On July 8, 2018, at around 12.34 p.m., a northbound single-car light rail train collided with a car in the Lincoln Avenue crossing near Ouseries Avenue on the Mountain View-Winchester line. Two occupants of the car were killed. The train operator was taken to a hospital according to standard operating procedures. The 20 passengers on the train were not seriously injured. The lead segment of the train 934B left the tracks and knocked down a pole supporting the LRT catenary wires. Topic: Rail infrastructure. Topic: Overview. The VTA light rail system consists of multiple rail corridors, mostly double-tracked, with overhead catenary wires. The Guadalupe Corridor was the first, opened to revenue service in four stages between 1987 and 1991. The Short Almaden Corridor was also opened when Guadalupe was completed in 1991. The first major expansion opened in 1999, extending the rails via the Tasman West Extension to Mountain View. Mountain View is the second connection between VTA light rail and Caltrain, after the Tamian station was added to the Guadalupe Corridor in 1990. In 2000, voters approved Measure A, which promised the construction of a downtown, East Valley light rail line, connecting downtown, San Jose City Hall, and San Jose State University via a new alignment along Santa Clara Street, meeting the Capitol Line at Alum Rock Station and then turning south to Eastridge Mall. Measure A also provided funds to develop plans for two new light rail corridors. Other potential corridors that were studied using Measure A funds included Sunnyvale, Cupertino, extending south from the Tasman West Corridor Santa Teresa, Coyote Valley, extending south from Santa Teresa Station Stevens Creek Boulevard, extending west from downtown San Jose North County, Palo Alto, extending north from downtown Mountain View Station. The Tasman East extension pushed into Milpitas by 2001, and was completed in 2004 along with the Capital extension, which extended the line east to Alum Rock Station. The first phase of the Vasona extension was completed in 2005, extending the VTA light rail line from downtown San Jose through Campbell to Winchester. The Vasona extension mostly followed the Union Pacific right of way and also added a third connection to Caltrain at San Jose Diridan. Since 2005, no new lines have been added to the system, but VTA has proposed several more. 
By 2007, VTA was planning for the downtown East Valley route along Alum Rock and Santa Clara to downtown San Jose either by rail or bus, and the Capital Expressway extension south from Alum Rock. The extensions with the most complete plans are the Capital Expressway extension Phase 1, to Eastridge and completion of the Vassona extension Phase 2, to Vassona Junction. VTA completed most of the Vassona extension in 2005, and planned to begin construction on the light rail extension along Capital Expressway in 2012. However, VTA lacked sufficient funds to build the Santa Clara – Alum Rock Corridor as light rail. That route as well as another route along El Camino Real – Monterey Road, will instead be built as Bus Rapid Transit BRT. With the completion of the Berryessa phase of the Silicon Valley BART extension, the first connection between BART and VTA light rail will be at the Montague to be renamed Milpitas station. Notes Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Proposed reconfigurations. Topic: <laughs> Light Rail Efficiency Project 2010. VTA has considered plans to increase the overall speed of its light rail system. These include adding fences along track on North 1st Street, which would increase speed along this corridor to 45 miles per hour, and a new Great America station to better facilitate transfers to commuter rail. These were eventually bundled with other capital improvements into a larger light rail efficiency project, which resulted in two completed sub-projects. Santa Clara Pocket Track and Double Crossover, which added a third track on Tasman. Mountain View Double Track, which double-tracked the line between Mountain View and Wisman. The original scope of the light rail efficiency project included the following planned improvements. Reconfiguration of lines. Red Line Mountain View, Alum Rock, connecting Caltrain at Mountain View with a new Milpitas BART station at Montague, as the sub-project Northern Express Blue Line Santa Teresa, Alum Rock, expanding the Pilot Commuter Express to an all-day service bypassing stops between Convention Center and Ohlone, Chinoeth, as the sub-project Southern Express Green Line Almaden Local, extending the Almaden Shuttle all the way to Mountain View Purple Line Winchester, downtown San Jose, slightly extending the Vassona extension north to St. James, where passengers would transfer to blue or green line trains. System speed improvements to prioritize transit signals and increasing vehicle speeds from 35 to 45 miles per hour, 56 to 72 kilometers per hour along North 1st Street. Special event service along the new red line to bypass certain stops for peak commute hours and connections to Levi's Stadium. Planned improvements would result in predicted 23 to 30% reductions in travel times at a total cost of $60 million. The light rail efficiency project was anticipated to complete in 2017. Topic: <laughs> Next Network Project 2016-17. On January 5, 2017, VTA published the Draft Transit Service Plan as part of the next network project to update routing and frequency with the anticipated commencement of BART service to San Jose. Light rail and bus operations would be reconfigured to provide increased ridership, serving high ridership areas with shorter headways and decreasing service to low ridership areas. Lines would be referred to by colors, starting in fall 2017. Orange Line, Mountain View Alum Rock New Service Blue Line, Alum Rock Santa Teresa Matching Existing Service Green Line, Old Ironsides Winchester Truncating the existing Mountain View Winchester service to Old Ironsides Station Purple Line, Ohlone, Chinoeth Almaden Matching Existing Almaden Shuttle Service Yellow Line, Commuter Express Existing Commuter Express service will gain a separate designation, and service doubles to six trains during commute hours. <laughs> New Transit Service Plan 2019. The New Transit Service Plan was developed from the 2017 Next Network project. Lines would be renamed in accordance with the prior Next Network project, with two exceptions, the new blue line would be truncated at Baypoint, and service on the new purple line would be discontinued entirely and replaced with a new bus route. Proposed lines are 
Orange Line, Mountain View Alum Rock new service. Blue Line, Bay Point Santa Teresa truncating the existing Alum Rock Santa Teresa service to Bay Point. Green Line, Old Ironsides Winchester truncating the existing Mountain View Winchester service to Old Ironsides Station. Purple Line, Ohlone, Chinoath Almaden discontinuing the existing Almaden shuttle service in addition, two stations would be renamed, Montague would be renamed to Milpitas upon completion of the new intermodal station for the Berryessa Bart extension, and I-880, Milpitas would be changed to Alder to avoid confusion with the renamed Milpitas intermodal station. In 2018, VTA began installing Orange Line signage at stations in anticipation of the route reconfiguration. Topic. Planned extensions Topic. Downtown East Valley Project Using measure of funds, VTA plan to add two new light rail corridors and provide BRT services from downtown San Jose south along Monterey Road. The two new corridors would be Santa Clara, Alum Rock, running generally southwest along Alum Rock and Santa Clara from Alum Rock Station to San Fernando, using single car service. Capital, running south from Alum Rock Station along Capital Expressway, then connecting to the existing Guadalupe Corridor at Capital Station near the intersection of State Route 87 and Capital Expressway, using two car trains. The projected headway for both lines was 10 to 12 minutes. The Santa Clara – Alum Rock Corridor also would have added two additional connections to the BART extension. Vasona Light Rail Extension In 2005, VTA extended light rail service to Winchester Station, completing most of a proposed light rail extension to Los Gatos, California. The Vasona Light Rail extension would complete the original proposed extension. The additional extension is 1.57 miles long and will run alongside Union Pacific Railroad lines. Construction will include lengthening of platforms at the Winchester, Campbell, Hamilton, Bascom, Fruitdale and Race stations. Two new stations Hacienda and Vasona, will be constructed with the entire project costs projected to be $157 million. The VTA Board of Directors approved a Supplemental Environment Impact Report in February 2014-1. The construction schedule is dependent upon available funding. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Capital Expressway Extension. The first phase of the light rail extension originally proposed as part of the downtown East Valley project would continue south of the Alum Rock Station to the Eastridge Transit Center. Running on an elevated median along Capital Expressway, it will be designed to provide a competitive commute time to driving on the expressway, which is generally considered one of the most congested traffic corridors in Silicon Valley. In 2012, VTA finished improving pedestrian and bus conditions on Capital Expressway, with new sidewalks, bus shelters, and improved landscaping. Eastridge Transit Center was rebuilt in 2015. Construction of the extension is scheduled to begin in 2019 and be complete in 2022. There will be two stations, Story Road and Eastridge, with an optional intermediate station at Ocala Avenue. The pedestrian improvements and first phase of construction is expected to cost $60 million. The second phase of extension will travel south of Eastridge along Capital Expressway into South San Jose, adding a fourth connection to Caltrain at Monterey Road, Capital, terminating at VTA's Capital Station. <laughs> 